In April of 2010, ESET Latin America discovered a new malware distribution campaign being done through Facebook by the criminal gang behind the Kubeface worm. Kubeface is a family of malware that is primarily spread through links on social networking sites, much like how mass mailing worms spread through email in the 1990s. Here we see a website hosted on an infected PC. The page offers to display an enticing video, but requires the user to update Adobe Flash Player to a newer version first. The web page also attempts to start downloading the file automatically, but is prevented from doing so by the web browser. We'll go ahead and save it to the desktop. The update is, of course, not from Adobe, but rather is the Kubeface worm. We will download the worm and then run it to infect our test PC. In the File Download dialog window, note the security warnings displayed in the title bar and at the bottom of the window. Note that after the worm is run, nothing actually happens on the screen. Coopface, like other modern malware, doesn't threaten the user or display any error messages or warnings. The PC is infected, though, and Coopface is running in the background. Our researcher takes a moment to warn Facebook friends of the infection and to not click on any links to web pages sent out from the account. For privacy purposes, we have obscured their names. We have opened a command prompt to run Netstat, which is typically used to troubleshoot networking problems. Here, we use Netstat to determine which programs on the PC are connected to the Internet. The Windows Socket Library is a familiar file. However, the sertoco.dll is not recognized. Note the February 2009 date on the file. Our researcher performs a quick visual inspection of these files through a directory listing and in Windows Explorer to check the dates and sizes of the files. Malware can easily hide these types of changes from being seen. The Windows Socket Library looks OK, but will be examined later. Let's focus on the other file, sertoco.dll. In Windows Explorer, we've switched from an icon view to a list view and sorted by date to make it easier to see the sertoco.dll file. Note how the date on the file has changed to April 2010 as it has been updated. We've launched the Firefox web browser and attempted to reach ESET's website. Note that we can't seem to get there. ESET's website is running, but Kubeface is blocking access to it. Our researcher has opened a command prompt and begun using the nslookup command to determine the IP addresses of the websites for several popular anti-malware companies, as well as for a popular search engine, computer manufacturer, and an automobile manufacturer. Note how the PC can no longer determine the IP addresses of the anti-malware company's websites, but is still able to find the other company's websites. This is an example of how Kubeface blocks infected PCs from downloading antivirus software or receiving updates in order to make it more difficult to remove. Let's now take a look at the effect this blocking behavior has in Windows. As another example, we've launched Windows Update. This would normally take us to Microsoft's website, where we would install patches and run tools to fix security vulnerabilities and threats. As you can see, the Kubeface authors want to keep your PC infected, so they block this as well.